Hello and welcome. Today's video is my May empties video and I am using the bigger Sephora bag today because I have a lot of empties. My total for the month is $348. That includes makeup, skincare, one hair care item, also a perfume and a body lotion. I do like to do a monthly empties video even though I do project pans so a lot of the makeup you do see in project pans but the other stuff I don't usually include in projects but the perfume was in a project that I did post a few weeks ago but yeah I thought I would include everything. Last time I said that I didn't include my hair care empties as part of the value and one of you guys was like well why not just include it. So I did decide to do that so $348 but there are still four makeup items there is a lot and also a few people have asked me about my skincare I don't really do a separate skincare video because the stuff I use on a regular basis I do talk about in my empties videos and I do feel like completely finishing an item and telling you if I repurchase it or not does say a lot so I do have a project pan playlist if you do want to see that and I do also have an empties playlist because I do usually do an empties video every month and I have several year-long makeup empties videos there as well so let's get started I'm gonna just start with what's on top and that is this Dr. Denise Skin Science Firming Facial Microderm Abrasion Cream. And this is something I got in PR. And so this has glycolic acid, but also it does have pumice for exfoliation. And I felt this was way too harsh on my face. So I used it up by using it to exfoliate my feet and the rest of my body. And I actually really liked it for that. This does cost around, 35 something dollars. I have seen this brand on QVC. Like I said, I got it in PR. Way too harsh for my face, but I did like it for the body. Here's something else that I did get in PR and I loved this and I think I may purchase it at some point. It is the Dermalogica Hydro Mask Exfoliant. This is $60. It's very expensive for 1.7 ounces, but this is, so you put it on like a mask, leave it on for a few minutes, and then when you kind of rub your face to wash it off, it does exfoliate, but it is also hydrating. It's exactly what it says. It's exfoliating and it's hydrating. And I'm pretty sure that this does have both a chemical and physical exfoliant, but it is not harsh at all. I like a lot of Dermalogica products. I've gotten PR from them in the past, but I've also purchased a lot of their products myself. Overall, I think it's a really good skincare brand. So yeah, that is pricey, but I do think I would get it. Let me show you probably the backbone of my skincare routine, and that is retinol. This is actually not retinol. This is different gel, which is an active retinoid. I use it for anti-aging purposes. It is marketed towards acne, but it is a retinoid. So this, I've gone through so many tubes of it. This is over the counter in the US now. It used to be prescription. Um, $28 for this larger size, that is 1.67 ounces. And what I like to do is a couple nights a week, I'll use this. And then a couple nights a week, I'll use a different, like more retinol. Like I like the one from the Inky List. I like the Sunday Riley. There's a couple others. I've just noticed if I use the same retinoid or retinol ingredient, every single night i do feel like it doesn't work as well over time so that's why i like to switch up my retinoids a little bit but yeah this this is my favorite one and i do feel that it is the most effective let's talk a makeup empty i finished one of my holy grail products the original mineral veil by bare minerals i've talked about this a lot it is the only under eye powder that i use I just have found every other under eye powder I've tried my concealer creases or it's really dry and I have lines and my under eyes are really dry and this is the only powder that works. I've stopped experimenting because I've had so many bad experiences with other powders for my under eye. Already got a backup of this because I had purchased it at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty so I am now using that one. and. Interestingly, so I went to look up the price for my empties and now this has gone up in price to $27. When I first started using the Mineral Veil like eight or nine years ago, I think it was only like $20. I mean, 27 is actually still very affordable compared to a lot of other high-end powders. You do get nine grams in here. Usually one of these bottles lasts me eight to nine months. So yeah, but luckily I did get the one I'm using now 50% off at Ulta 
Holy grail, only one that I use. Let me show you the one perfume empty. A big goal of mine this year is I do wanna use up more of my perfumes. And this was in my year long project pan. This is Viva Lou Juicy La Fleur. And full price, this is $72. I didn't pay that much though. I got this, I think at a Marshalls a few years ago for only like $18, but I do include full retail prices in my empties just cause half the time I can't even remember whether I got something on sale or not. But this I for sure know that I did buy at Marshalls. It smells a lot like the original Viva Lu Juicy, but a bit more floral, but I wore that scent for many years. So I'm definitely a bit tired of it. So I don't think I would repurchase it, but it is a nice sweet and floral scent. Let's talk another holy grail skincare item, CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I've been using this for years. It is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And yeah, this is 16 fluid ounces and it's usually only about 15 or $16. Depends on where you purchase it, of course, but I love this. I like to use this just to wash my face regularly, but also to remove makeup for a double cleanse, use a cleansing oil, and then this. There are other face washes that I like, and there's actually another, I think that, yeah, there's another one in here that I got in PR that I actually do like, and is very similar. I also like the one from Dermalogica. I find that it's very similar to this, so. I have a hard time buying more high-end face washes when I know that this is just so amazing. And I do like to keep one in the shower and my husband likes this one too. He said he likes the foaming. I had bought the hydrating one at some point and he doesn't like the hydrating as much. He does like the foaming, which I do as well. So we do both use this, which is why I tend to go through face wash very fast because he uses that as well. Let me show you one other item that he also uses. And this is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer with SPF 15. I had purchased this for the winter because at the time I was running out of moisturizer, I went to Target and they didn't have SPF 30, so I got 15. So I figured for the winter that was fine, but I'm glad that we used this out because I wanna be using 30 or higher in the summertime. Now, a few people actually asked me about my favorite sunscreens and I do not have sensitive skin but sunscreen is the one thing that breaks me out so badly. Sometimes it's the physical and sometimes it's the chemical too. I really can't figure it out except by brand. For some reason, Neutrogena sunscreen products do not break me out. I don't know how also the other brand that doesn't break me out is Dermalogica. So those are my two favorite sunscreens. I've tried so many others and they break me out. So I stick with Neutrogena. My husband likes this too, um, but right now I do have the one that's called like the Hydro Moisturizer with SPF 30, and I also bought it in SPF 50. That one's in a blue package. Absolutely love it. So just quick on my morning skincare routine, all I do is cleanse my face. I'll put on like a plain moisturizer, like the plain CeraVe, and then I'll put another moisturizer with SPF on top of that, and then I'll do my makeup. I just like to have that added moisture under my sunscreen. I feel like my makeup looks better when I do that. But yeah, this is great, doesn't break me out. Here's another face wash, and I actually really did like this one. I found that it was very similar to the CeraVe. So this is also from that Dr. Denise brand. So I did get this in PR last year. This is their hydrating cleanser. It's really nice, but it's around $30, and it's very similar to the CeraVe, so I don't think I'd go out and buy it, but I did enjoy using this one. Alrighty, so I've got three makeup products left, a hair product and a body care product. I finished the Maybelline Cheek Heat. So I've mentioned this in several videos that I bought this, I think sometime in March, and I felt like it was running out so quickly. I've never panned a cream blush ever, and I put this in a project pan recently, and I did finish it. So this says it's 0.27 fluid ounces or eight milliliters, but when I bought it, there was so much air in this tube, you can't tell, but it is completely empty. It is actually a bit see-through from this angle. I feel like there was a lot of air in here. And also, so this was in the color Coral Ember. Really beautiful coral color, but not the most pigmented. And they do call this a sheer gel cream blush. And that is exactly what it is. It is a gel formula, but it is a bit sheer. I really did like this but I don't think I'd repurchase because I ran out so quickly. I mean, I used this up in about two months 
and it's eight dollars which obviously that's not bad but yeah i mean if you don't mind panning things quickly this would be the blush for you and i do like the formula but i have some other cream blushes that i prefer all right let me show you the last the body care and the hair care and then i'll show you the last two makeup products um, a few people have also asked me about my favorite body lotion. This is my number one body lotion. This is Lush Sleepy. My second favorite is the one buttercream from, I cannot think of the name of the brand. Oh my gosh, I'll put it on the screen, but it's called the buttercream one. I really like that. So those are my top two favorite. This is the smaller size. That's 3.1 ounces. It's $12. It's expensive. Lush is a really expensive, but this is rich lavender and tonka lotion it smells amazing it is like a lavender color oh my gosh i already have another one of these such an amazing scent and so moisturizing it is a bit of a thinner lotion so it's not very like thick feeling but it's still moisturizing i think this is fantastic the scent is amazing i will say today is the first day that i actually put highlighter here on my chest i never do that it's usually just lotion but i actually do have color pop i think flexitarian on but usually i just wear body lotion and i really like it and then i did finish this hair mask so i ended up getting this at marshall's for 15 dollars Full price, this is I think like 40 something dollars now. This is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. And if you were watching YouTube many years ago, like I was, like 10 years ago, this was one of the most talked about hair products. It's crazy, but actually I do think it is good. I have very dry hair and it's actually a really nice hydrating mask. I only wash my hair once or twice a week. So I usually just use a mask instead of just a plain conditioner because like I said, my hair is really dry. I think this is great, but yeah, they've really upped the price of this over the years. This is the old packaging, so this probably sat at Marshall's for who knows how long, but I really don't care. It's a hair mask and it worked. So I actually would buy this again if I saw it there. Alrighty, and two more makeup products. This one is in one of my Project Pans, the Partners in Cream. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. That is so difficult to say. This was a small size, and this is actually something I did get in PR from Look Fantastic last year. And I like this. It is quite glowy though, so I used it by mixing it in with the NYX Angel Veil, which is more of like a pore filling, smoothing primer, which is definitely what I prefer, but mixed in with that was really, really beautiful. I wouldn't repurchase this anyway. I do prefer the one that is in the purple packaging from Becca, but I don't know, since they're gonna be closing down, well, supposedly, Part of me wonders if they're gonna like secretly just stay open, say, oh yeah, people really wanted us to stay open, so we're going to, I don't know. Just a thought, probably won't happen, but I do prefer the, alrighty, I do prefer the purple one over this one, but I used it up and it was fine. And last but not least is a lip product. Like I have said in many, many videos, I am trying to use up as many lip products this year as possible. And I finished a lip liner. I didn't finish any lip liners last year. This little thing here may win an award for being in the most project pans ever. I've put this lip liner in so many projects and I finally finished it. And it wasn't even in a project, but I just have been working on it. So this is or was ColourPop BFF and it's totally empty. There was a little bit that the last time I sharpened just totally like fell out. Um, yeah, this is a really good lip liner, actually. It's like a brown neutral. Today I'm wearing um, Pat McGrath Contour, which is just a bit deeper than this. They're actually kind of similar, um, but I do like the Pat McGrath formula a little bit more. It lasts longer, whereas the ColourPop lip liners are more creamy. So I think that keeps them from not lasting quite as long on the lips, but it's a great lip liner. I loved it. The ColourPop lip liners are really, really nice, only $6, and this lasted me a very long time, but I don't need to repurchase it, because like I said, I have similar colors, and I want to use up as many lip products as possible. Alrighty, that is it for this empties video, $348. I'm pretty excited about that, four makeup products, another lip product. I am pretty thrilled, and I'm glad I finished up some of this skincare that was kind of like sitting around half used, so I am glad that I finished those, but yeah, that is it for this video. If you wanna see other empties videos, check out my empties playlist. And then also I do have a project pan playlist. Let us know what did you finish this month. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.